Right, so getting organized and using software to manage the projects and tasks that you're working on is one of the most effective ways to stay productive and get more work done in less time. Whether you're studying for an exam, planning your workouts, building a business, or posting to socials, having a go-to project management app will help you hit those deadlines and reach new productivity peaks. The problem is that Kaban boards and task management tools are pretty easy to build. And if you search on the App Store or on Google for a project management tool, there are a ton of options out there. And it can be really, really difficult to figure out which one is best, especially when the business tier paid options scale up really quickly. So to help you out, I signed my company up to as many free project management tools as I could find, filled my Mac and iPhone with them, and then used each of them to manage various business and personal projects over a week-long period to find out which were the easiest and most effective to use as both a solo and business user. I then compiled a list of what I consider to be the 10 best project management apps that you can use without paying anything, and I've even included a bonus 11th at the end of the video together with my personal take on what the best project management app is and why. I've timestamped all of the apps in the description below so you can jump around and hopefully this video saves you a ton of time when it comes to finding the best project management software that works for you. So hit that subscribe button and let's get right into things, starting off with ClickUp. Like many project management apps, ClickUp goes big on allowing you to plan, organize, and collaborate on any project with powerful task management that can be customized for every need. One big differentiator for me with ClickUp is its UX and specifically the number of customizable views that you can choose from. ClickUp offers the standard list, Kaban board, and calendar task planning view, but then has a further eight advanced views, which include a Gantt chart, a mind map, a timeline, and even a map view. For me, the real power comes from ClickUp's four page views, which allow you to embed forms, documents, and chat with teammates from within the software. I also really like the new embed page view, which allows you to embed docs and videos alongside tasks to reduce context switching and consolidate resources for tutorials and training. The interface is simple yet satisfying, with spaces to plan, schedule, and manage your work all on one platform in addition to communicating with your colleagues or peers. You can create, share, and edit documents with comments for feedback, plus you can assign tasks to other team members and check the progress of projects on your custom dashboard. ClickUp allows for unlimited users and gathers all of your team's information in one easy to use platform. Tasks can be made using templates and visualized through charts, calendars, and timelines, so you can literally track your progress in a variety of ways. ClickUp includes lots of native integrations with services like Slack, Google Suite, and Dropbox, plus you can connect to thousands more through Zapier integrations. If you use Outlook as your go-to email service, you can also set up tasks directly from there. Now, as with many of these project management apps, there's the option to pay for plans with extra features like unlimited storage. For ClickUp, this starts at $5 per member per month and offers unlimited projects, views, and storage, plus goal tracking to track team OKRs. Now, in my experience, the free version comes with plenty of tools and features to allow you to manage your projects effectively. And don't worry, the app won't force you to convert to a paid plan after a certain period of time, as its free forever plan is literally free forever. Next up, we have Trello. Trello's been around for a little while now, since 2011 in fact, and there's a reason it's withstood that test of time. Simply put, it's easy to understand and it's reliable. Trello predominantly uses a Kaban style list format where you can create tasks and drag and drop them into different sections. By creating boards and delegating tasks, you can freely customize your workflow and arrange it under various headings, such as a to-do list or a completed heading. Attaching files to boards is easy, although there is a file size limit on the free version. And you can add deadlines to tasks, which will then turn yellow as you approach them and red once they're overdue. Checking off the tick box when a task is completed will turn it a satisfying green, giving you and your team the impetus to work hard and make sure that board stays green throughout. Trello has become a popular way of managing a project, whether you're using a PC, tablet, or even your smartphone. Trello is supported by both Windows and Mac, Android and iOS, with a dedicated version for the iPad Pro. Trello also offers a free forever option, which caps your storage and your number of boards to 10, and then paid options start at $5 per user per month with unlimited storage and boards and some more advanced checklist features. If you want multiple views like ClickUp, however, you'll need to go for the $10 per user per month option to access calendar, timeline, table, dashboard, and map views. 
Jira is another product that you may well have heard of before, and it's even older than Trello with its initial release all the way back in 2002. It started out as software specifically for tracking bugs, that's bugs of the computer kind, not actual bugs, but has now become well known for its work management offerings. Just like Trello, I've used Jira alongside tech teams in my businesses. Described by some people as functional and effective but not that pretty, Jira supports multiple platforms and features in a similar drag and drop Kaban style system to Trello. It's just not quite as appealing to look at. Nevertheless, Jira allows users to seamlessly create tasks and distribute them across your team. Users have access to information from thousands of business apps, from design and monitoring tools to source code and productivity. Deployable through desktop, mobile or via the cloud, Jira has excellent support options including an email or help desk, forums, phone support and a 24-7 live chat option. Jira's project management software is free to use for small groups of up to 10 users, but for teams of 11 or more, it currently charges $7 per user per month. If you're big into customization, then Monday is an award-winning project management app you might want to consider. Used by companies like Hulu, BBC Studios, Coca-Cola, Adobe, and many more, the app doesn't just look amazing, but it also has a host of features that will make managing your projects a breeze. You can upload and attach files to cards, make comments, mention teammates, and there's a reporting dashboard where you can track your progress across multiple boards, meaning you get a better overall sense of how your team is doing. You can even use Monday to track work hours, timelines, and invoices, although I'd still recommend a separate accounting app for managing things like payments. It's Monday's flexibility where it truly shines though. It can be used in conjunction with Google's apps like Drive, Calendar and Gmail, plus it can be linked to the likes of Jira and Trello, plus many other project management apps too. While Monday offers a free plan for up to two users and three boards, anything more generally costs $10 per user per month, although there is usually a free 14-day trial option too. The next project management app is a cloud-based platform that has more of a focus on teamwork and the tracking of goals. It's called Asana. With Asana, you can create multiple to-do lists and set reminders to make sure you always hit your deadlines. You can add instructions and assign certain colleagues to tasks while leaving comments on specific items for them to see and action. The layout and interface is really nice, with simple whites and pastel colours, and the Asana team have tried to inject some fun and gamification into task completion by having confetti and even a narwhal pop up when you mark a task as completed. Almost everything you do can be tracked using Asana, and the paid enterprise tiers feature something called portfolios, which let you group projects together and then see multiple projects, which is great if you have a large business like me and have multiple teams like sales, marketing and engineering who each have lots of individual projects. While you can opt in for Asana's premium business or enterprise tiers, the free basic tier retains plenty of functionality with unlimited tasks, projects and storage and the ability to collaborate with up to 15 teammates. The Asana app on mobile, tablet and macOS is also really nice too. Next up is Airtable, a super powerful work management app for building project databases but one that may take a bit more time and dedication to master. Featuring a vibrant, modern and robust user interface, Airtable has a wealth of options for you to use, such as long text notes, checkboxes, links, barcodes, attachments and records. Airtable is a little bit different from the other project management tools we've seen so far. It's kind of like Microsoft Excel on steroids, and its USP is really allowing you to build connected apps that can then be used to connect your work and project management. You have the freedom to arrange your project in a way that suits your team with advanced filtering, sorting and grouping options that allow you to zero in on key areas. By using Zapier or other integration software, you can then link Airtable to the likes of Asana, Evernote, Facebook and many other apps, bringing all of your data into one place and creating powerful automations and workflows. For example, you can set up a form that auto-populates a table view list and then sends you a reminder. The main problem might be getting used to Airtable, with certain features not as straightforward as on many other apps, and a lack of tutorials on site to help you learn. However, if you're feeling confident, then the risk may well lead to great rewards. A free version of Airtable is available to use for up to five people, otherwise prices start at $10 per user per month. Next up we have Notion, which like Airtable puts a big emphasis on customization, but unlike Airtable, Notion is a work management app that is incredibly easy to use, but it does lack some of the more advanced features seen in some of the other products we're looking at today. 
Part note-taking app and part task management tool, Notion sets itself apart by combining project management with wikis and notes, making it a brilliant option for creative minds like writers and graphic designers. While it does seem to be primarily focused on the note-taking side of things, it can still give even the best project management tools a run for their money. Notion organizes pages into blocks, allowing you to insert calendars, timelines, or use it as a Kaban board. An interactive editorial board gives you a decent overview of any ongoing projects, and while it may lack the flair of other applications, it's pretty straightforward and easy to comprehend. Notion is great for solo users and small teams, but lacks some of the enterprise reporting functionality and automation seen in apps like Asana and ClickUp. Notion is free to use for a single user with a 5 megabyte file upload limit, a personal pro plan with unlimited file uploads starts at $5 a month, and a team plan for unlimited users is $10 per user per month. Now, Basecamp was the very first project management tool that I ever used when setting up my first business and working with developers. It's been around for about 20 years and it's extremely easy to set up and it's flexible in its features, but it does lack some of the features of larger work management tools. Basecamp markets itself as an all-in-one toolkit for working remotely. It's got a treasure chest of collaboration tools such as group chat, message boards, and team schedules. It's not your typical project management platform with a much more basic design and UX. This is a bit of a double-edged sword, as while Basecamp is very easy to start using, its chat functionality can feel a little bit siloed if you're working with a much larger team. Real-time communication options such as group chat, message boards, and pings are at the core of what makes Basecamp special. It means you don't have to use a third-party communication app like Slack, and you can do everything from one place. Unlike other project management tools, Basecamp allows you to set up custom custom access settings for clients so that they can see how you're getting on too. This eliminates the endless back and forth between you and a client if you're an agency, saving you both valuable time, so it's a great option if you're setting up a small service business. You've still got your usual tools such as calendars, notifications, and the ability to share and upload files. Now a Basecamp business account costs $99 per month, but covers your entire team. However, a personal plan is available completely free, with features such as storage space limited, as you might expect. Rike is another simple yet effective project management app that checks the box for ease of use. Rike's interface looks smart and it's fairly intuitive, meaning you can get to work immediately and start tracking your projects and milestones without too much difficulty. There are a number of different options for viewing your workload, with information presented in the form of lists, tables, Kaban boards, and Gantt charts, though the latter is only available with a business plan or higher. Tasks are sorted into workflow categories where their status is defined as active or complete. Plus, you can add custom headers if you wish to be a bit more thorough. One of the major drawbacks of Rike is that it doesn't have an integrated chat option, meaning you'll likely have to communicate with your team or clients outside of the app itself. Rike allows for up to five members to work for free on a project, but you can have an unlimited amount of collaborators who are able to view projects and tasks but not edit them. Those users who are permitted to edit documents can do so on the cloud without the need to download them. If you opt for the free account, it does include 2GB of storage, but you won't be able to time track or customize your dashboard. A professional plan costs $9.80 per user per month and includes 5GB of storage and comes in packages of 5, 10 or 15 users. Now, if you prefer to keep things super simple, then why not use a free app that many people likely already have but tend to overlook? I'm talking about Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. I'm going to group these two together as they're really spreadsheet tools but can be used to manage projects collaboratively and they're free. If you have a simple singular project, maybe one with a small group, using Excel or Google Sheets could be your best solution. Aside from most people already being familiar with Excel, Microsoft actually offers free templates within the app itself, like the Gantt Project Planner, which you can search for when opening a new Excel file. Google Sheets offers simple collaborative features online too, and you can export Google Sheets to Excel and upload Excel docs to Google Sheets. Tried and tested, both Google Sheets and Excel allow you to create comprehensive spreadsheets in a workbook and store endless amounts of data. They're particularly good for projects involving numerical data since you can use formulae to calculate results and ensure high levels of accuracy. Google Sheets can also be paired with Google Forms to collect data from clients and automatically populate sheets. 
An interactive user interface lets you create task lists in easy to view rows and columns, plus you can set up more advanced reporting and calculations with self formulae or download project management templates that do this for you. You can view timelines, create graphs, charts, and 3D maps, plus there are many reporting tools within Excel and Sheets to make use of. Now, the main obvious drawback is the lack of deeper reporting, multiple ways to view your projects like Kaban boards, and lack of integration with other tools that really set the other dedicated project management tools we've encountered apart. They may not be the most glamorous options out there, but if you already have access to them and you want to use something you're familiar with and is completely free on a small project, it's definitely worth considering. So we've now reached the end of the top 10 free project management apps, but I wanted to include a bonus 11th. This one is a little bit different, but has a really nice user interface. Teamwork has been specifically built for client work and has a really nice intuitive design and interface with Teamwork's main USP being a billing and invoice integration feature, making it ideal for users and groups that primarily handle client work. Project managers or business owners can keep an eye on people's time and workload and know when deadlines are in danger of slipping. They can send invoices to clients for billable work and much more. Teamwork has actually been around since 2007 and unlike many of the other project management apps on the list who've taken on lots and lots of VC funding and have become bloated adding features which can be a little bit confusing, Teamwork's focus on clients and invoicing with integrations to accounting software like QuickBooks means it's remained fairly focused and easy to use. Teamwork has four account types, Free Forever, which comes with five users, Deliver, which is $12.50 per person per month, Grow, which is $22.50 per user per month, and an enterprise plan called Scale with custom pricing. When you sign up for an account, you automatically get added to a 30-day trial of the Grow service with no credit card required. So that really is it. Hopefully that's a pretty comprehensive list of project management apps to narrow down your field of choice from the thousands and thousands out there on the web and app store. I've deliberately made this a top 10 list and I know everyone has their own preference in terms of functionality and design and what you're looking to track. Now, as I mentioned, I really tried to field test these apps to save you time and I used each for a week to track a different project under the free tiers. So which one was my favorite? Well, for me personally, I found that on the free tier, both Asana and ClickUp were the most feature rich and the simplest to get going with when setting up a simple small team based project where I was looking to plan out a series of tasks that needed to be completed by a deadline and that could be assigned with others. If you're not going to be working with a team anytime soon or you just want simple collaboration rather than reporting and delegation features, Notion is also a great option, although you may want to pay for a paid Notion template to save you time in setting up your database. Given that all of the project management tools on the list today do pretty much the same thing, a lot of your decision will come down to their design, complexity, and your own individual needs and tastes. So let me know which is your favorite down below in the comments too. I hope you found this video useful and it saved you a ton of time. I have a similar video on productivity apps that I use to optimize my work workflow, which I'll put up in the end cards that's also worth checking out. Thanks so much for watching and for subscribing, and I'll catch you again next time.